Okay, I'm going to break down Austin Mahone's Loving You Is Easy. Uh, the song is actually not too bad. It is easy. Ha ha. <laughs> it's only four chords, so uh, let me show you what I will show you first. It's going to go like this. Okay, so if I broke it down slowly, let's just go through the right hand. You're going to have this chord. Okay, and if you're not able to reach this octave right here, just go ahead and get rid of the thumb on the bottom. So you'll have that. Okay, but if you're able to reach it, go ahead and reach it. It sounds much more full. Okay, so that's the right hand, first chord. That's a B flat chord. I'll name the notes from bottom to top. Here's an F, a B flat, a C, and an F. Okay, your next chord involves just these two middle notes moving to the outside. So what I mean by that is this two finger right here is gonna move down the piano to here. And then this three finger, you see that, is gonna move to a D. So you see that, watch the blue application up here. Watch how my two middle notes just, they split apart, okay? So the first chord, these two are just gonna go to there. I'm sorry, you know what? I misspoke, these two notes are still gonna move out except that you're keeping this note right here. So then your chord's gonna be that. Sorry about that. Okay, so here's your second chord. And again, if you can't hit that octave, go ahead and get rid of your lower note. So you just have that. Okay, so the first chord, there. Second chord, there. I'll name the notes from bottom to top. F, A, C, D, and F back up top. Okay, your next chord is just a nice F inverted chord. And all inversion means, if you really wanna know, um, all it means is in an F chord, you have an F, an A, and a C. An inversion is a different form of this same chord. So if you notice I'm playing here also an F, notice I have an F up top, an A, and a C. Here, F, A, C. Here, F, A, C, F, A, C. So there's three different inversions you can play F in. Okay, so that's just a little side note, something that you could, um, that could be useful to you. So that's your third chord, and the last chord is a nicely voiced C chord. That's my favorite chord of it all. Okay, so that's just a C chord with an added F on top. So all together, the right hand. Notice how my top note's going to stay the same here, so I'm just going to go to like that. Okay, so the left hand, let's go ahead and go through that. You're gonna have a B flat to a D, to an F, and then to a C. Now again, if you're unable to hit the, hit the octaves as I did in my cover, break it down into single notes. Okay, so the B flat, D, F, and C. And if you're feeling risky and you have nice big hands, you can actually throw in the fifth interval in between each of these octaves. So the fifth interval here for the B flat is F. So there's that one going to the D chord. There's your A and then to F with a C in the middle and then to a C chord with a G in the middle. Okay, so all together you should have this. So up to tempo, it goes. And then that's how the verse goes. Uh, there is a really cool little melody line that I will show you. To understand the patterns that help me quickly learn and cover songs here on YouTube, visit my site, improvpianotips.com forward slash products. There, you will find well-thought-out online tutorials that will help you unlock the simple secrets of chord piano. Before you purchase a tutorial, you'll see a demo video link that will roadmap what the lesson covers before you purchase the video. Wouldn't it be nice to listen to a song once or twice, musically understand what's going on, and teach yourself that song in one sitting? That's exactly what I do and you can too once you understand the simple secrets of chord piano. Now let's get back to the lesson. And it goes like this. Okay, so slowly you have an, a C to an F to a G and then to an A. And then you repeat. So the rhythm would go. So 
So notice I'm doing this uh, three times. One, two, three. And on the fourth one, instead of going like this, I go. Okay, so that's where the switch up happens. It's a total of four. There's one, two, three, and then switch up. So what you're gonna do is you are going to do the same chords in your left hand and the right hand will play that cool melody line. So all together it would be like this. So the B flat in the left hand. So slowly. Notice how I'm hitting those two hands. So together, left hand, right hand. Oh, I think I did it backwards. Let me see. Yeah, I did it backwards. So together, right hand right there. So you hit here and then you drop in, so. And together there. And then that same little rhythm where you hit the right hand first, then the left hand. So you see, boom. So all together. Goodness, I messed up. That's not fun. I'm the teacher, I shouldn't mess up. All right, uh, anyhow, let's play through a full thing. Um, I hope that this was fun and useful for you. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel for more of these awesome tutorials and check out my cover of this song too. I had a blast doing it, it was a lot of fun. So this is how the final product should sound. I'm gonna play one time through it. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you have a great day or night or middle of the night, wherever the heck you are. I am out. I'll see you next time.